All right, so here we are in the Airtable pricing calculator and I'll add a link in the description of this so that you can go to this base and there'll be a little button in the top right corner, I believe it is, that says add this to my workspace or something like that. You can add this base, you can copy this base to your workspace and you can do exactly what I'm about to show you here. So I just built this out and it's really just a simple calculator. You just use this one record right here. You don't need to add any more records. You can if you want to check out if you want to have multiple different workspaces with different plans. You can do that and you would just, yeah, I'll show you how to do that. So you really just need this one record right here. And the way you do this is you type first type in the number of users per workspace. So if we want to have, say, two workspaces, so we would change this right here. So number of workspaces to two and in each workspace we wanted to have 10 people. So that would be a total of 20 people spread out between two workspaces. Even if a person in each workspace is actually the same person with the same email address, that counts as two different people. So what I'm trying to make you understand here is the number of people per workspace or the number of users per workspace matters. And that matters for your billing. So this is how Airtable bills. So they'll bill number of users per workspace to whoever is the workspace collaborator or whoever owns that workspace. And it also matters whether or not you pay yearly or you pay monthly. So I added the different plans in here and it will look up the information from the plan and it'll tell you your, your, it'll tell you your monthly bill. So if you're on a free plan and you have two free workspaces and you're sharing each of those with 10 people, again, it doesn't matter if people in both workspaces are the same, it'll build those separately. Say we move that up to a different plan, we delete this out of here. So we press that X there, we press the plus here, and we change this to a plus plan. So now if we change it to the plus plan, our cost monthly would be $240. And that's if we're paying monthly. So if we're paying yearly, our monthly bill would be 200 but if we're paying yearly, we would only be paying once a year. So the yearly cost would just be this times 12. So 200 times 12 would be $2,400. So for the workspaces, let's say we change it to the pro plan. So now for the pro plan, if we have, we'll take this, well, for two workspaces with 10 in each workspace, monthly bill would be 400. But if we just have one, it'll only be 200. So if, Maybe we'll just go back down to the one person per workspace. So maybe you just want to have a pro plan for yourself. So this is the most simple one. If you just have one user in one workspace and you're paying yearly, this is the cheapest you can get your pro plan to is $20 per month. And say you want to add one person on it. So you change that up to a two that would go up to $40 per month. So say you have a team of five now. You expand your business, your monthly bill would now be 100. So you'd have a total soft air table cost over the year of $1,200. So I hope this makes sense. Just add how most likely you can just leave this at one. Most people only have one workspace. If you want to see, okay, what if I, if you want to compare some different workspaces, you can do that as well. So if you have five people in one workspace where you pay yearly, and you want to compare the pro versus the plus, you can do that. So it's half the cost there. And if you pay monthly for one, yearly for the other, you can see the cost there. And really, it's really dynamic. So I would just stick with this first record here and you can copy this into your workspace and you can play around with this calculator and see what your monthly bill will be. I highly encourage you to do that. Really figure out what's gonna be the best plan for your business moving forward on what you want to be spending in your technology. Again, I think this pro plan is the best option. And if you want to look into the plans, if they change the plans and you've already downloaded this, then you can just come back in here and change the pricing models. But that's really up to you. I know they've been talking about a like limited or a light pro plan for small businesses, but they haven't released that yet. And so I'm not going to include it in this one. If they do, I will include it and I will include a latest video comparing the pricing plans in this course so you'll get the most up-to-date material on pricing but hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one which i believe we are talking about api keys